First time on the Collectivo by myself, <laughs> coming to visit a friend's house and um, me not speaking very much Spanish and no one on the bus <laughs> speaking English, but I made it. I got off at the right time, so I'm just going to walk up now and oh, get so puffed here. So. I guess I haven't really shared or started recording a video at all, so I'll catch you up. I've been in Peru maybe not quite a month yet, and I'm here for as long as I need to be. I bought a one-way ticket, and I'm currently staying in the town of Ollantaytambo. I really love that town and currently in Yanawara visiting friends for the day and then I'll head back. I was here on a group tour. I'm going to stop so I can talk. A little view of where I'm at. So I was on a group tour, this is my third time to Peru, if you didn't know, and um, I come with the same beautiful woman every year and always different people in the group. And this time our June pilgrimage went for 18 days and yeah, this time I decided to book a one-way ticket, maybe go back to Australia when I really feel ready which isn't yet. Every time I've left the last two years I have really struggled to get myself home and to land back in Australia and this time I just felt like I really needed to stay as long as I wanted to stay until I really felt ready to go back to Australia. Yeah so here I am. Um, I've been hiking mountains, exploring Peru, and I decided that when the group finished, I would, um, I didn't really have a plan, to be honest. My plan was pretty much to get here, go on the group pilgrimage, and work it out from there. And so I really had to learn to just go with the flow, <laughs> or really just to embrace life and whatever shows up. So I, um, really really love the town of Ollantaytambo so I decided that I would land there for a good week uh, so I've been there for two or three nights now and don't really know where to after that um, I'll you know I'll keep you updated and I'll let you know where I am but yeah just starting to try and experience actually living here rather than just being on I don't even know if I'd call it a holiday but um, rather than just coming for the group pilgrimage and leaving. So yeah, here I am. This time in my life has required a lot of trust and a lot of courage. I think I've got a spider on my hat. Oh, yes I do. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of trust, a lot of courage and mm, just having to embrace what shows up and allow life to just really show me and just trust in everything and trust that it's all perfect and um, that it's all unfolding exactly as it should. So I'm actually really proud of myself at the moment because I can see that I've come a long way in two years. I remember the first year that I arrived here and I was actually an emotional mess. Um, yeah, I really struggled to be on my own and um, 
It's not that I have struggled to be on my own in the past. I've always felt pretty independent. Um, however, I learned that when you take me outside of my comfort zone, outside of what I know, outside of areas I know, or, you know, away from people that I know, um, and you put me basically in a foreign space, um, I learned that it was actually much more challenging than I realized for me to be on my own. So I came here two years ago, I cried the whole way here, and then when I didn't want to leave, I cried the whole way home. Um, and it's got easier, and this time, you know, it's twice now that I've woken up here without a plan, without knowing where I'm going to stay that night, and I haven't fallen apart, I haven't even cried. I mean, I've cried for other reasons, but I haven't cried um, about being alone. I haven't cried about... Um, feeling lonely I guess yet that might come who knows but um, I can see that there's a new level of strength within me you know I was able to just walk around and look for a hotel and um, just figure it out and you know I'm not staying in the most fancy places because I'm trying to live here and you know I guess I have a bit of a budget so um, yeah, lots of things that are happening right now outside of what's comfortable for me, but there's this strength that is coming from that. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just working it out as I go, and I've really surprised myself, and I've been really proud of myself, actually, at the way I've handled things so far. So, yeah.